Okay, so I've had a few people ask me in the comments on the last video on how much I get from Ritual per hour. And the answer is it honestly varies. It's a literal slot machine mechanic, so we don't know how much we're actually going to get. You can have an hour where you get pretty much nothing. You can have an hour where you get multiple divines. It's completely random. But what I did was I ran about an hour's worth of maps. And this here's the result. Okay, so taking a look at the loot then, we got 18 offerings to the goddess, which are 4 chaos each for a total of 72 chaos. We got a mortal ignorance, which is 35 chaos. We got a bunch of fossils, nothing too crazy, but in total they're about 19 chaos. We got a cheap cluster base, which is 3 chaos. We got 4 blood filled vessels at 3 chaos each, being 12 chaos. We got a bunch of divination cards, we got Sephiroth which is 125 chaos, we got a home, which is 45 chaos, we got 6 of the hoarder cards, which are a chaos each, so there's 6 chaos, we got 3 of the bones, which is again 3 chaos each, so 9 chaos, and a vanity card, which was 3 chaos, we got 5 omens of the jeweler, that's 25 chaos each, so 125 chaos for those, and we got an omen of brilliance, which is, uh, sorry, which is 5 chaos for a total of 130 chaos, we got an enhanced support, which is 20 chaos, we got a bunch of different scarabs. We got the Essence Scarab of Ascent, which is 30 chaos. Two Expedition Scarabs of Rune Finding at 5 chaos each for 10 chaos. A Harbinger Scarab of War Hordes for 12 chaos. A Legion Scarab for 5 chaos. A Betrayal Scarab of Perpetuation for 2 chaos. We got full Cartography Scarabs, which are 2 chaos each, so 8 chaos there. We got a Harbinger Scarab for 5 chaos. We got a Harbinger Scarab of Regency for 3 chaos. We got a Ritual Scarab of Abundance, which has gone up a lot in price, it's 25 chaos now. Bestiary Scarab of Duplicating, which is 13 chaos. An Abyss Scarab of Edifice, which is 3 chaos, for a total of 116 chaos. And then we have 74 Scarabs, which are worth a chaos or less, which I haven't factored in. Uh, for Raw Currency then, we've got 95 chaos. We got 60 Orbs of Fusing, which is about 15 chaos. We got 19 Orbs of Alchemy, which is about 4 chaos. We got 11 Var Lobes for about 5 Chaos. We got 3 Regal Lobes, I've just put it down as a Chaos. We got 19 Regret Orbs for 9 Chaos. 52 Cartographer Chisels for 20 Chaos. And an Orb of an Element for 6 Chaos, giving us a total of 150 Chaos for overall currency. Okay, and lastly we have the items I've sold. So I sold the Fractured Shield that had plus 1 to our level of Fire Skill Gems. And that shield sold for 1 Divine. I also sold a Ghastly Eye with a Minion's Deal Lightning Damage Fracture. And I sold that for 65 chaos. I sold a helmet that had a spell suppression fracture. And I sold that for 50 chaos. And whilst I'm editing this video. I sold a pair of boots that had a tier 1 fracture for lightning resistance. And I sold those for 35 chaos. So in total we got 1040 chaos. And that's not including those cheap little scarabs that were only a chaos or less. But like I mentioned at the start of this video. You're not guaranteed to make this. You can make less. You can make a lot more. It's going to be completely reliant on RNG. Alright, so all I've been doing for about an hour was putting maps in here, just a normal rare map at tier 16, two ritual scarabs of selectiveness, and just go in like that. Okay, so after you've cleared everything and you open up your ritual, you're going to look for synthesis items, you're going to look for divination cards, uh, fractured items, fossils, stuff like that. There's nothing here I want. So I'm going to re-roll. Uh, there's cheap chaos orbs there. 2 for 780. So I'll take that. Re-roll again. There's a fracture pair of boots. That's a T1 int. So that's going to be 20 chaos. We have another pair of fractured boots and they're spell suppressed. Now this is pretty much a jackpot for boot fractures. This is two divines. So that's lovely. I'll be taking that. Anyway, I did want to mention that if you've got a faster character, you're going to be able to farm a lot more than I did within an hour because you'll be able to obviously get to the altars faster and clear them faster and then reset faster than I could. You could also get a blood filled vessel. And what these will do is essentially increase the amount of monsters you get. So that increases the amount of favor you'll get by killing them. It'll also give you 
better rewards, and it's also going to make the monsters spawn faster so you can complete the encounter quicker. Alright, so that's going to wrap up this video. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.